Yesterday, our governor declared that there would be no school for the rest of the 2019-2020 school year. I felt the crush in my heart the second I heard about it. All I could think about were my kids, especially my son. He's a senior. How would he even process this? He's been on this amazing journey of intellectual increase, spiritual awareness, emotional growth, and interrelational knowledge for 12 and a half years now. It's been a straight line that he has not had to veer from. He knew eventually he was going to have to grow up to eventually take responsibility without mine or his dad's help, to eventually discipline himself for work and college and relationships, eventually. But first he was supposed to have his massive, amazing, playful, crazy senior ride to the end of this long train of what was his K-12 educational experience and career. He was supposed to have cloud over the underclassmen. He was supposed to have his last football game ever, his last pep rally ever, his last performance ever. He was supposed to have prom. He was supposed to be able to be recognized at special performances by teachers that loved him and saw the good in him. He was supposed to be able to walk out of school two weeks early because he had earned the last two weeks. He was supposed to be able to share his excitement with his friends about the college he's going to. He was supposed to have a two-week cry sesh with all the people he was leaving as he set on on this journey into the unknown, crazy, scary future called adulthood. He was supposed to have a graduation ceremony. But now, most of those things are gone. They're not going to happen. No more school. No more prom. No graduation. No hugging friends. No teachers to thank face-to-face. No walking around with peacock feathers as a senior, as the senior, the senior class. He has lost so much and I can see that he's hurting. I'm hurting for him. It's a deep and painful wound, no matter how necessary. It's not that he doesn't understand what's going on. He gets it. It's not that he doesn't believe that we're doing what we should. He does. It's not that he thinks it's wrong. He's just feeling the loss on a whole new level. And I ache for him. I truly ache for him. A loss is a loss, no matter how small or large it is. And to the person who is losing something, it's real and genuine and should be allowed to be felt. As I reflect on all the things he's lost, I can, always, I can also look to all that he has gained. He has gained a national and global understanding of caring for others. He has gained the awareness of what it means to appreciate your friends and your situation while you're in it, rather than when it's over. He has gained the awareness of the term living in the moment. He has gained the mature mindset that it's not always just about him. He has learned to pray not just for himself, but for others. He has learned to work on relationships that matter and not just rest in their availability. He has learned the value of his teachers, especially those that personally invested in him. He has learned the joy of school and the things that it brought to him that far surpassed a mere education. He has seen true struggle and loss and has found steps to maneuver through them without falling apart. He has learned to adjust and then readjust and then readjust again. He has matured and grown, and I am so proud of him. So to the class of 2020, please let me say, you are not the class of COVID-19. You are still the class of 2020. I know that most classes were going to use the motto, class of 2020, we can see clearly now. I mean, has there ever been a more suitable class motto? It fits you perfectly. You can clearly see the big picture now. You can clearly see the real world. You can clearly see what has value and what real love is, why relationships are so important, what fear and strength and wisdom are. You can see clearer than ever before, and I can't wait to see what kind of adults it makes you out to be. Class of 2020, you have been tried. You have been tested. You have been hurt, and you have been stopped, but you have not been defeated. You are the class of 2020. 
you really can see clearly now. You will not be the class that was forgotten because you will make yourselves unforgettable. When this is over, when you are released into the masses again, you will shine, you will soar, you will roar, and you will win. I love you, and while I am broken for your loss, my mom heart burst with joy over your future. Stand tall, kids. Stand tall. You will survive.